Welcome, my dear children. Grade 9, Geography. First unit, the Asian region. Today we are going to discuss about the Asian region. The continent of Asia is located in the eastern part of the northern hemisphere of the earth. Geographically, it is connected to the continent of Asia. The continent of Asia is the largest continent in the world. When we compare with the other continents in the world, it is a unique continent. You already know that the earth's surface consists of seven large continents such as continent of Asia, continent of Africa, continent of North America, continent of South America, continent of Europe, continent of Antarctica and continent of Australia. When we compare with, the, the, compare with these continents, the Asia is the largest continent in the world and also it is a unique continent. It means geographically as well as the physical landscape and the human landscape are very unique than the other continents as well as Sri Lanka belongs to the continent of Asia. Let's see. Geographical location of Asia. Geographical location of Asia can be shown in two ways. We use two ways to represent a location of a place. They are relative location and specific location. Specific location we called as absolute location. First we discuss what is relative location. The location of any place or region on the earth can be shown by using continents, oceans and other physical features surrounded it is called the relative location. When we discuss about the relative location, we have to use continent oceans and other physical features. What are these other physical features? Such as mountain ranges, rivers, we can take as other physical features. So, if we can show a location of a place by using the continent oceans and the other physical features surrounded it, we called it as the relative location. Accordingly, let's see the location, relative location of the continent of Asia. The Asian continent is bounded by the Arctic Ocean from the north, the Pacific Ocean from the east, the Indian Ocean from the south, and the continent of Europe from the west. Let's see. You can see the colored area shows the continent of Asia. To the north of the continent, of Asia, we can see the Arctic Ocean. To the south of the Asia, we can see the Indian Ocean. To the east of the Asia, we can see the Pacific Ocean. And to the west of the Asia, we can see continent of Europe. You can clear this if you can use an atlas book. When showing the relative location of Asia, it is important to consider the following facts. My dear children, you should have a good understanding about the following features as well as you know that already the continent of Europe and continent of Asia are both located as one landmass. We called it together 
as Eurasia, but keep in, in, your, in your mind they are two separated continents. Ural Mountain Range, River Ural, Caspian Sea, Caucasus Mountains, Black Sea, Mediterranean Sea, Suez Canal and Red Sea are the boundaries that separate Asia from continent of Europe and continent of Africa. Please use an atlas book and try to identify these features. Follow Asia physical map. There are many small as well as large islands that belong to the continent of Asia, such as Japanese islands, Indonesian islands, Philippine islands, Sri Lanka, Taiwan, Andaman islands, Nicobar islands, and the Maldives are some examples for islands. Right? There are many large and small islands belong to the continent of Asia. You know that Sri Lanka, Maldives are some small islands and you know that Japanese islands, Indonesian islands, Philippine islands, they are very larger islands because they have many, many small islands together. The land area is larger than the other small islands. Next, we move to absolute location or the specific location. Let's see what is the specific location. The location of any place or region on the earth can be definitely be shown using geographical coordinates. What do you mean by geographical coordinates? Geographical coordinate means longitudes and latitudes. When you were grade 8, 7, you already learned about what are latitudes and what are longitudes? The imaginary lines that are drawn vertically on the model globe by connecting North Pole and South Pole we call the longitudes and the imaginary lines that are drawn horizontally on the model globe by connecting East and West we call the latitudes. So. Based on those geographical coordinates, it means based on latitudes and longitudes, if we can say or show the location of any place, we called it as absolute location. The Asian continent is located between 10 degrees south latitudes to 80 degrees north latitude and between 25 degrees and 180 degrees east longitudes. Look at that map. They, there you can see some latitudes and longitudes. Using an atlas book, you can identify the absolute location of the continent of Asia. Let's move to the uniqueness of the Asian region. The first point, the con largest continent in the world. The Asian continent covers an area of 44.6 million square kilometers. As well, it is about 30% of the land area of the earth and 8.7% of the entire surface of the earth. Next one. Presence of all the climatic types of the world. All types of climates that exist in the world can be found here. Therefore, every type of forest as well as there is a high biodiversity we can observe in this region. Third one, 
presence of different human races ethnic groups and languages and cultural diversity the diversity in culture ethnicity and races is a special feature of the population of asian region existence of various languages is another specific characteristic as various ethnic groups are living there according to the ethnologue that providing information on languages in the world 297 living languages are available only in china think about our country sri lanka you know that Sri Lanka consists of different ethnic groups, different language speakers and different religious followers. So there is a diversity as well as the other countries in the Asian region source this diversity. Next one. Birthplace of many major religions. It is the birthplace of major religions like Buddhism, Hinduism, Islam and Christianity. At present, people who follow religions like Buddhism, Hinduism, Islam and Christianity live in this continent. Next one. Location of the largest mountain ranges and the highest mountain peak. You know The Asian region consists of large mountain ranges among them the largest mountain range in the world the Himalayas is located in the continent of Asia Mount Everest the highest peak which is 8848 meters in height is located in continent of Asia next one the most popular continent among the continents in the world according to the size of population more than half or about 60% of the world population lives in the asian region do you know it is notable that china and india the two most populous countries in the world are located in the asian region indonesia pakistan bangladesh and japan that belong to the top 10 countries with the highest population of the world are also located in our continent so today you learn about the geographical location of the asian region as well as the uniqueness of the asian region thank you